Hey, what's up, YouTube? Evan from Epic Duel Time again. I'm doing another video. Uh, I want to summarize and talk about a card uh, from Cosmo Blazer, uh, one of my favorite cards from the set, and it's called Breakthrough Skill. Um, I picked up a pair of these at Sneak Peek pretty easily. Um, it's an amazing card, and I know it's really hyped, and everyone's heard about it. Well, I want to talk to you why it's good, and not just for the really obvious reasons, but what, why I believe that this card is not only a little better than Valor, but why this card is simply better than Fiend, just Chain, Valor, all of them. Um, and I, this is personal beliefs, you can definitely argue me in the description down below. Sorry, the comments below. But um, I want to get down to talking about why Breakthrough Skill is good. So let's read it first. Um, leave that copy out. Target one face of effect monster your opponent controls. Negate the effects of that opponent's face up monster until the end of the turn. During your turn, except this turn that the card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one face of effect monster your opponent controls and negate the target's effects till the end of the turn. Now, you're like, oh, well, it's a double veiler. It's better than a double veiler. And it's for the reason why you have to use its second effect. So first of all, if you look up the card, it's described as a quick-like effect for the second effect, meaning you can, on your turn, you can chain it. That's disturbing. Uh, and it can't be used during the damage step, obviously, because it's not a counter trap, uh, or and it doesn't affect battle. So you have that. But what's really important is that during your own turn, if they do something, get a monster on the board, summon Abyss Pike or something during your own turn, you can just negate its effect. So you can really combo very well with it. So I want to give a couple examples of why the first effect is so good. So we're going to talk about these four monsters. Rabbit, BLS, Neospatian Grand Mole, and Card Card D. Why does Breakthrough Skill nail all of them? Two cards here get around Fiendish Chain. And two cards here don't care if they get Veilered. If I, if I use my effect to banish you, and you Veiler me, I'm fine. Now, if I go to attack once, you can't use your Veiler to stop me from attacking again. I can, however, respond to your attack with Breakthrough Skill. Now, you, go, you can't banish me during your standby, your second, uh, your main phase 2, and you can't get a double attack. Great. Rescue Rabbit is obviously a negated effect, it's like Veiler. And because it doesn't require the monster to stay up on the field, it's fine. Grand Mole is a little funnier. You attack with Grand Mole, his effect starts at the start of the damage step. So on your attack declaration, I use Breakthrough Skill. Now if I Veilered you, you wouldn't have even attacked. You would have just waited till the end phase, and then your, your effects are back. Yeah, this doesn't work like that. I respond to your attack with Breakthrough Skill, and then you attack my monster, and now he's going to die. Card Card is a little funnier. You, you summon Card Card I Breakthrough Skill him, you're never getting to use it. You have to tribute it to not get an effect. That's where Breakthrough Skill is like Fiendish Chain, for these two, but it's like a Veiler to these two. Now, we're going to talk about the cards of why it's good on my turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. These five cards are monsters people leave on the field because its effect is so good. So I'm going to go down the row of why this is amazing during my own turn. I declare an attack with, let's say, let's say I have BLS for this. Okay. First scenario is I'm going to summon BLS, I'm going to declare my attack, and then I'm going to respond to my own attack with Breakthrough Skill by banishing it to my from my graveyard to the banish zone, and I'm going to negate Catastrophe's effect. I'm going to attack over it, and I'm going to attack again. First example. Second example is the Zen Mains in defense mode. Let's say I don't have a way of getting him banished. Let's say I, I, I don't know. I, there's no really good example for this. Let's say I don't have an effect or skill. I don't know. There's really no good way of. There we go. 
it's okay. So let's say I have a Utopia and I want to attack Zenmanes. I can just simply declare the attack, and before I even do ban damage, I'm going to banish my Breakthrough skill. It's going to negate his continuous effect to survive. It doesn't negate effects that activate, it negates all your effects. So it destroys it. Instantly. Okay. The same thing applies to a God Chain Defense mode. Utopia is really good for this too. Let's say I don't want to banish you. I don't know. I have this anyway. So, what I do is I declare my attack. And you activate your effect to remove a material to negate my attack. And then I chain from my graveyard breakthrough skill. I negate your attack. I attack over. Now you're dead. And I'm going to attack again. Pretty good. This is where this gets really fun. I have a BLS in hand. And we all know Thunder King can negate his summon. This is what people don't know. If I banish Breakthrough Skill and target Thunder King, Thunder King loses his ability to he contribute himself and go to the graveyard, but he will not get his own effect to negate my summon. Also, I can now add cards from my deck to my hand under his continuous effect. It literally turns Thunder King Ryo into a Saber Source. I'm going to summon, I'm going to attack, and I'm going to attack again. Guys, Breakthrough Skill is not as good as the hype is saying. It's better than the hype is saying. This is a card that I'm finding... I, I've only tested it for a very short while, and I'm finding that this card is amazing. This card negates so many of today's power cards. All the cards that you guys complain about are so meta. Get this card. Ideal 808 has it really cheap. I think they were like 25 to 30 bucks a card. I get that that seems like a lot. But this card shuts decks down. It shuts your opponent down. It goes to the graveyard. You can play it under D Fisher. So if you're fighting Mermail and you're, you want to negate some of their stuff, like their Divas, the only way for them to play under D Fisher is to start summoning Divas and get a big Atlantean field presence on the board. You can stop that from happening completely. During the battle phase, during your own turn, during any way you want to stop it. If Thunder King's shutting down your deck, main deck this card, and you now have an out to Thunder King that's really, really, really good. I know Valor's searchable, and I know Valor's good, and I know you all love your lights and your tuners and your, you know, your spellcasters and she's pretty, but the problem about Valor is that Valor doesn't solve all of these problems when you want them to, Valor's not reusable, and Valor requires it to go to the graveyard. Even if you're under a macrocosmos, this will still work once. It's still acting like Fiendish Chain. Okay? There's no reason that this card will not make an impact. Cosmo Blazer gave us one of the biggest tools out there. Um, in Duelist Revolution, we got Solemn Warning. And that was the rise of, essentially, interactions. Cards that make me stop you. So we stop playing with ourselves and stop playing solitaire by ourselves all the time. You can stop all of these cards with one card. These are the power cards of our meta. Every one of these cards shows up. And I could do this for Megalo. I could do this for all your Divas, your your Genix Undines. I wouldn't suggest Undine simply because he's going to get his cost anyway. But I'm saying though, it, it hurts every deck you play it against that uses a monster effect. This card is not dead. Playing D Fisher doesn't shut you down. And it stops your long term effects. You cannot use Thunder King's effects when he's being negated by this. That's amazing. He negates two effects. He does, he does not have to be face up on the field for the entire duration of his effect. This stops him in his tracks. It stops Grand Moles, BLSs, Utopias, everything that you need. Your Zen means so many cards that your opponent will play that are going to really, really hurt. Pick this card up while you still can. It's Right now it's low value. Um, I've never seen a card come out like this that is starting at $25, $30. Okay, Solemn Warning came out at like eight, like 60 So, I do believe this card's that good. This card is absolutely something I want to be main decking. And if you look at, you know, the decks coming out, the you know, we have Fire Fists, we have Phantom Beasts, Be Phantom Beast Planes, we have all these different decks coming out, Harpies, all these decks. If you have a problem with any of them, they all use monster effects too. Nothing is immune to monster effects. This card is reusable. Now, here's another fun fact. If this card accidentally goes to your graveyard, 
let's say it gets sniped out of your hand. Let's say it gets MST'd and you couldn't chain it to anything. Keep in mind, you didn't have to use its first effect to use the second effect. You can banish it at any time on your own turn, regardless of how it got in the grave. So just remember, it doesn't matter. If it gets night beamed, whatever. You're fine. These cards are in trouble, and players should know it. Breakthrough skill is absolutely one of my favorite cards from Cosmo Blazer, if not my favorite card from Cosmo Blazer. It looks cool. It's got like Dolka popping through a shield. Um, it looks amazing. And it's an amazing card that I think everybody should be trying to pick up right now. Um, it's going to be hard to get soon. I guarantee it. I guarantee this card's going to go up in value. There's no way this card could stay at $25 to $30 a copy. I, I picked up a couple of copies just trade uh, this weekend, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, so, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Please talk about this card down in the comments below. Uh, I love hearing feedback. I do think this card is that good. I firmly believe it. I hope you guys do too. But if you know, if you have more scenarios where this card's amazing, talk about them. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if there's any other cards from Cosmo Blazer or Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Um, I summarized uh, some of the new stuff coming out in Medolce and Spellbooks. I'll have links to those videos down in the description below. Um, and as always, keep doing America.